So this is it. Day one of training at the WWE Performance Center. As you can see, it looks like everyone heard I was coming and decided they'd be better off staying home. This is cool, but there's no way my journey ends here. I'm going to WWE and then straight to the top, where I make sure hey, that- what are you doing? You're an hour and a half early for your orientation. I was just... checking out the facility? <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. How did you even get in here? Guy up front let me in. Oh, big guy with the mustache? Kinda sweaty? Yep. Well, that's Todd's final strike. Hope he enjoys early retirement. I tried showing him my ID, but he said it wasn't necessary. And then he told me to walk right in. I mean, I get that I look like I belong here, but the guy's clearly not cut out for the job. If it were up to me, I'd fire him. Thanks for your input. Anyway, you're going to need to fill out your information on this and sign a bunch of waivers before you can begin training today. And when you're done with all that, there's actually a fun part. You get to design your wrestling gear in case you become a WWE superstar. You mean when I become a WWE superstar? Yeah, sure. Wait, have you been filming this entire time? Is that a problem? Filming's not allowed in here without prior consent, which you should have been told by security. Frickin' Todd. Turn it off, please. Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, AJ, and welcome to WWE 2K22. Now, I haven't played a WWE game in a hot minute. It's been years. As a matter of fact, I stopped watching wrestling for years. I, the last time I watched wrestling, I was like 13. I'm 20 now. It's been a long time, but I'm still a wrestling fan, despite me not watching wrestling in a while. But anyways, we're here. WWE 2K22. Choose your background. You can be an MMA fighter, a pro athlete. I might pick that one. An indie or an actor. I'm trying to go with the pro athlete because I'm kind of an athlete uh, myself, you know. I'm not a pro athlete, but I'm, I'm, I'm athletic. But anyways, uh, y'all might pick this one. Yeah, I'm gonna pick pro athlete. And I'm gonna get back to you guys when I finish creating my character. All right, so this is what I came up with, pro athlete. I'm also a high flyer. Look at all the attribute bonuses. And that's what I look like. Yes. You done with all that yet? Just finished. It takes time to design a look like that. Yo, it look kind of good. Hold on, I did a face scan and everything. So now what? Should I go wait at the eyebrows are a little off, but I don't start? care. It took I'm me a long done. time. What do you think I do here? I'm Corey Klein, head recruiter and occasional babysitter of people who don't follow instructions and show up way earlier than they're supposed to. Oh, that Corey. I guess when we were emailing, I just saw your name and assumed that... You know what? It's nice to meet you in person, finally. Go get changed. Then head over to the gym. The other trainees who started last week should be showing up soon. And to clear up any potential confusion on your end, they are men. Got it. Thanks. You don't think I'm a man? I'm even gonna be quiet. All right, so I created my move set and my entrance. So I'm gonna go to my attribute upgrades, and I have five, and I'm a 75 overall. So I wanna upgrade my striking, my defense, grappling, running, and resilience. Are we all set? Now we're at 77 overall. Let's get it started. You can either talk to Hector Flores or Paragon J. Pierce. Talk to Hector. Hey, new guy, right? I'm Hector Flores. Welcome to the PC. I want to be a villain. I don't want to be no nice guy. Don't call me new guy or rookie or any other condescending nickname. Especially since from what I hear, you guys have only been here a week. Okay, suit yourself. And you're right. I've only been here a week, but I've been doing this since I was a kid in Mexico. Oh, yeah? Which is a lot longer than you. So, what? Do you time throw shade? Or wrestlers or something? <laughs> Must be nice. No. I got myself here. 
and I got myself to college and pro football, and now here. What's your point? Take a look around. You might feel at home in a weight room, but out there in the ring, it's a whole different world. You can either learn from people who have experience, or be stubborn and fall flat on your face. That's not, That's an, option. not an option. I'm putting everything into this. There's no backup plan. That's good. But don't expect this to be easy. You it's don't not. have to work as hard or harder than you ever have before to make it to WWE. I realize that. And I respect everything that WWE superstars do. Inside and outside the ring. But there have been a lot of guys who crossed over successfully from football to wrestling. And I plan on being the next one to do it. I like your determination. I sound so nice. Let's see if you have what it takes to get the ball in the end zone. That was Hector, Paragon J. Pierce. Hey, who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Your first day training here. Who are you? Seriously? Have you not been watching Japanese wrestling for the past six years? No. I'm Paragon J. Pierce. I don't care who you are. The biggest free agent WWE signed since AJ Styles. That, that, that bigger, actually. I haven't had time to watch Japanese wrestling. Why am I so small compared to him? At the highest level in the world. So you're a football player, huh? Man, you guys are all the same. You come into our sport think it's gonna be easy, but you're in for a real wake-up call. I don't plan on being here very long. They actually should have never sent me here to begin with. But I'm gonna take this opportunity to send you running back to whatever team you were cut from. Man, you trash, man. You trash. You're all talk. You remind me of a lot of the guys I played against. All talk. Luckily for them, when the whistle blew, I couldn't punish them anymore. Last time I checked, there's no whistles here. What's going on with my hair? At the back of my hair is like twitching. See, look. You're on my field now, rookie. When I'm done with you, you're gonna be begging for a whistle. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Let's settle it right now. Tell him, meet me in the back. Settle it right now. Chase. I heard you were starting today. Big fan. Are you a referee? You a referee here or Oh no, man. I'm training to be a wrestler. I know I'm a you big nigga smoke. Side, but I'm actually crossing over from another sport too. I spent some time in minor league baseball. Baseball? Yeah. Who'd you play for? Well, I, I wasn't a player. I was actually a mascot named Ribby. But a I was mascot a named Ribby? Athletes. Oh, okay. Well, that counts for something, I guess. The best part of the job was they used to have indie wrestling shows at the stadium all the time, where I got to rub elbows with legends like Jerry the King Lawler. He found out I was training on the side as a wrestler and actually helped me get a shot here. Not that I couldn't have made it on my own. So that explains it. You're Lawler's charity case. It's not like that. I deserve to be here. You'll see. Sure. If I need a mascot to cheer me on, I'll let you know. Whatever. I was gonna ask you to autograph your football card for me, but now I'm not sure I want it. Probably not worth anything anyway. I signed a whole bunch of waivers already, saying I'm not liable for anything I do to you in the ring. How about I give you one of those? I'd prefer the card, but I guess that'd be cool too. Thanks. Yeah. See you out there. He's a nice guy, man. Too bad he gonna get smoked. My dear. I don't care who's upset. I'd like to officially welcome our newest recruit to the start of his WWE journey. The rest of you have heard the one and already, so we'll try to make it quick. On our first day, he did the whole ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages thing. It was awesome. We'll do the talking, Chase. I was just telling him about your cool DX. That do kind of look like me. That's kind of. 
It's kind of interesting. What I was getting at is we are going to give you the foundation to succeed in WWE. What you do with it is up to you. Keep in mind, you will be judged at all times. The big man in the sky is always watching. Not that big man. There's a camera up there with a live feed that goes directly to Triple H's office in Stamford. The coaches and PC staff certainly have input, but ultimately, he'll decide when the time's right to bring the GMs from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown here so you can showcase your talents. <laughs> I'm ready for that now. Nah, chill yeah. out, man. Chill we out. I know you think that. Yeah, it's you think that. Call, big shot. Okay. Now that all that's out of the way, we're going to start with some one-on-one -on -one matches to see where everyone's at. All right. New guy? Since it's your first day, we'll let you choose who you want to face. Do I get to choose? Shawn Michaels. I didn't even uh, get to choose anything. The guy standing next to you. I'm not an option. Look, I could beat one of these guys. I can beat that would those be guys. I want to do the unexpected in WWE, like defeating a two-time Hall of Famer on my first day here. I know that might rub people the wrong way, but I don't care. I want to make an impact, and I want to do it right now. Uh, yep. Come on, Shawn Michaels. Settle in the this? ring. This is your chance to say you're kidding. I'm not. It's cool. I'll do it. Shawn, that's really not necessary. Yes, Look, it is. If I was standing there in his shoes 30 years ago, I might have said the exact same thing. I'm not the HBK I used to be, but one thing hasn't changed. I don't lie down for anybody. Let's see what you got, kid. Let's, Let's get go, it. Sean. He's one of my favorite wrestlers stuff. of all time. Sorry. Got Shawn Michaels, Edge, Old habit. Ted DiBiase. What you know about Ted DiBiase? And Zack Ryder. And I got a bunch. All right, let's get it. All right, so I need to learn the controls. I haven't played in years. I heard that this game is new. All right, so they still got reversals. That's good. The heck was that? Whoa. That was dope. All right, hold on. Got dirty pin. How do you block? All right, so triangles to block. How do you grab? Whoa. All right, I still pick him up. How do you grab his circle? Yeah. What the heck? No. Move. Can I still do a springboard attack? Or uh, sit on. Leg drop. Let's get it. Now I'm a high flyer now. I can do all sorts of flips. Bop, bop. Oh, he reversed it. Uh, I couldn't reverse that. It came so fast. Pause. It literally popped up for like half a second. Hey, Sean, chill. Get up, get. Dang. I can't do anything. He's gonna try to jump on me. Move, yeah. See the spit come out of his mouth? My turn. Oh, he dodged that. <clears throat> Sit down. Get up. Signature. He reversed it. He said, oh, I'm gonna reverse my signature. That look painful. I'm not gonna lie. Man, sit down, man. Actually, no, get up. What? How do you recover that fast? Stunner. Stone Cold Stunner. 
How's he recovering that? He reversed it. As soon as I pick him up, he automatically recovered it. Caught that leg. Sit down. Ooh, that DDT. What's that bar? Oh, my signature. Ooh. Ooh. Time to do my finisher now. Stone Cold Stunner. He got no health now. I beat a two-time Hall of Famer. The decisions you made during the storyline have changed your alignment. Yes, sir. See what he gotta say. Not that I beat him. I'll hand it to you. Took a lot of guts to call me out and then back it up in the ring. I said I was gonna make an impact, and that's exactly what I did. It was a risk and also a bit of a shortcut. From my experience, those two things don't always work out. Oh yeah? But this one did, didn't it? I guess so, since Triple H just texted me that he saw our match on his live feed. He said he was impressed, and he'd be keeping an eye on you. Well, there you go. Everything turned out great, didn't it? Yeah, except for my sore back. Wasn't exactly planning on competing today. Now I'm paying the price. Just keep in mind this was one match. You still have a lot to prove before you're ready for WWE. I bet. I want to be on Raw. I don't want to talk to you, dude. But I'm going to end it off right there, guys. We face Shawn Michaels, the legendary Shawn Michaels, two-time Hall of Famer Shawn Michaels. And we he got defeated by yours truly. Anyways, uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Share the video with your friends. Hit that red subscribe button. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.